the abuse that the children that we see have suffered has come at the hands of their parents. Um, I th that is very hard for our staff to comprehend. It's very hard for the broader hospital to, to comprehend and we ha often have to work very closely with a lot of the services to, to help them be able to work with these children and, and the parents. The last financial year we had um, 1,640 plus children that were referred to us. Um, these are children that are um, either have suffered abuse or um, are at risk of abuse and the types of things that we see are sort of physical abuse, sexual abuse, um, emotional abuse and neglect. I've worked here at the Child Protection Service for over 21 years and often people ask me what sustains me um, and I think um, being able to provide every child that I see with an opportunity to tell their story and to give them a voice in a system that often um, struggles to be able to ensure a child's safety is so important because um, it needs to convey to a child a sense of warmth when they attend, a sense of safety, that it needs to be child friendly um, and very welcoming for children. So it, it, because they're here to talk um, about very difficult and traumatic experiences, we need to make it as um, safe and as um, inviting as possible to engage that child to be able to tell their story. This is a, um, a drawing that one of our six-year-olds um, has recently done in relation to what they would like out of a new building. And she told me that this part here is, is the bricks because it needs to be a very strong building and so it needs to be made from bricks. And then she pointed to this, which is her, the doorbell. And we needed a doorbell to make sure that only the right people come in. There are some children we would have seen as infants. Um, they might then come back to us in primary school at all those major transition points in their life. Other children we review quite regularly and it's really nice to see the, the positive impact of a stable placement or a good care arrangement, stability of school, um, and they're, they're gradually becoming more and more involved in their community. Our aim is to really help to address these issues and to make their world a safer and better place. A new building, obviously we'd like to see more space for the kids. We just had an example this morning where a lady was trying to get her pram up steps. So, and, and obviously we needed to help her with, so to be able to have more ramps, more um, infrastructure, better facilities. Since the CPS um, started, we have wanted to expand our business and do more things to help children and families. And at the moment we don't have the space in order to do that. We don't have the space in terms of rooms um, for both staff members, but also for those children to come and um, see our clinicians here. Our main goal within the foundation is to help children. So it was pretty much a unanimous decision that we all wanted to help children because we all have children in our lives, whether it's our own or family, brothers or sisters. So um, just hearing about some of the situations that children have to go through was actually quite heartbreaking. So that's why children was our main focus. I got in contact with the Flinders Foundation and we were fortunate enough to have a tour of the Child Protection Services facility and just hearing about how many children actually walk through those doors every year was just heartbreaking and what some of the children have gone through was very sad so it was a unanimous decision that we all just wanted to help in transforming the child protection services facility for these children. This building uh, was converted 30 years ago and while it's had some updates, it's, it's never been a purpose built um, for child protection services. Over the last 30 years, things have changed dramatically in the services that we provide and how we need to provide them. We need to be able to have a building that has flexibility and is child friendly and also safe for children to come here. Thank you.